Hey everyone, today my verse is found in Hebrews 13, 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Is there anything too hard for our Lord? No, the, my girls and I have been studying uh, through the life of Jesus and um, some, of his, some of his many miracles, his many healings, uh, I want to remind you of. Uh, some are in, found in Mark, in Mark 4 and Mark 2. The first one is when Jesus calms the storm. And in Mark 2, he heals the man who was let down through the roof with his friends. In John 5, he heals a, a crippled man, well, a man that had an infirmity for 38 years. In John 9, he opened blind eyes. Also in Matthew 9, two men are healed that were blind. Um, in Mark 1, he heals leprosy. In Luke 17, he, um, oh, that's leprosy also. And in Mark 5, the dead are raised. A, a young girl, 12 years old, was raised from the dead. And in Mark 9, the, an evil spirit is cast out of a man's son. There are so many times where we're reminded that Jesus heals, that he delivers, that he is God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did for the people in the Bible, he does for us now. There's a verse found in Romans 2.11. It says, he is no, there is no respect of persons with God. That's found also in Ephesians 6.9. But God is not a respecter of persons. What he did for others, he'll do for you. The same God, yesterday, today, and forever. And he wants to take care of you. But we have to do our part. Um, it says here in John 14, if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. And in Matthew 21, 22, and all things whatsoever you shall ask in prayer, believing you shall receive. We've got to believe. That's a key. Uh, and also in 15, it says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. So we also have to abide in him. We have to trust him, serve him, believe that he will do these things, believe in him. That verse that um, I mentioned in Mark 9 about this evil spirit being cast out of this man's son, um, it also goes on to say after, that, toward the end of that, um, that all things are possible to him that believes. And it says, the, the man, the, the father says, Lord, I believe, but help my unbelief. So sometimes we just need to pray and say, God, help my faith. Help me to believe you for these things that I have need of because God wants to provide for us. He wants to, to heal. He wants to deliver. He wants to free us. Um, there was one other verse I wanted to mention. Oh, Matthew 9. Um, that's uh, the, the two blind men. That, we, that I mentioned in Matthew 9. I'll put these verses in here too so you can go back and look these up and there'll be a whole list of them. Just take one or two verses a, a day, read through them and remind yourself of God's power through Jesus Christ, his son. So in Matthew 9, 28, it says, according to your faith, this was Jesus speaking. He says, according to your faith, be it unto you. So it was according to these, these men's faith. They believed that, God, that Jesus could heal them to heal their blind eyes. So what are you believing for? Go through, read these this week. Let God build your faith and believe that he can do these things. Trust him. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Have a good week.